Hello everybody, welcome to the channel again, to the Nutanix series. In here, we have our Nutanix node we provisioned. We haven't done much. You can see this, the specs of the node, the cluster memory, the cluster CPU, and you got your three host, one block, the model, you got your storage capacity at the moment, you got your resiliency, and it's actually at the critical right now, mainly because of our NCC health check acting up. And uh, if you look at the LCM, we can actually change, you know, fix that by updating the LCM, you know, to the latest version, and we could take care of that. So right now, if you look at it, we do a cluster inventory, we could actually figure out what's going on with it. So we haven't done one in a while in here, but I'm telling you it's gonna be our LCCM and we can check uh, NCC inventory by checking about Nutanix. And we're, we're running actually NCC 6 version. So, and then we're running the starter Nutanix, starter license. So that's what we are. So, but the first thing first in this video is gonna be doing what you have to do. What's the most important thing you have to do once you get your cluster? You have to obviously go under the settings menu, go to settings and the, the, go to the home drop down menu and go to settings. And then from here on, you got your cluster details. Just tells you what's your cluster detail information. Here's your cluster name. You want to name your cluster. If your cluster is not named, then it could make things, you know, confusing. So name your cluster. And then the next thing you're going to want to configure is your CVM. This is your CVM. This is how many clusters I have, and this is the IPs and the CVM information and the memory for each CVM. Normally, if you're installing like Nutanix CE, this is going to be set to 20 gig gigabyte. In this case, I'm not lacking resources, so to 32 gigabyte, and it can even up go to 64. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to waste that much memory on the CVMs. The next thing you got your expand cluster. If you wanted to expand the cluster even more, like you get maybe more nodes, you could do that. And then the next thing you have your image configuration. If I had images, we could do that. So, but we're going to skip all those stuff. Let's go back to what else and what's next you're going to do once you actually configure your cluster details, you name your cluster. You want to come over here to the name server, put your DNS, DNS information here for the cluster. And after that, you want to go ahead and click on NTP server. That's going to be the time server. You want to put in that. And then you also want to configure your network configuration and create a subnet. The subnet is very important. Otherwise, you can your VMs can connect to the subnet of the cluster or network. And so, in this case, we're gonna hit create class network or subnet, and then we're just gonna name this one. I teach skills underscore vnet, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually type in the VLAN. VLAN is gonna be zero right now for us, and then we're gonna hit OK. That's there. You go. It's done. And then after that, honestly, you could do SM email alert configuration. You know, it will tell you what, like, a, a, send you an alert every time something does break or something is not good. And you could start, you know, getting email for everything that's, you know, not, you know, something bad happening to the cluster. And you can see here. So that is ultimately what you could do. You could get a daily digest email. You could configure SMTP. And then after that, you could do like other advanced features, but those are not needed for this right now. And you can see you don't need this right now. You don't need the, you don't you don't need to configure this right now. And then the other thing you want to configure is your language if you haven't set this properly already. And then you want to set basically your region, and then you want to set your welcome banner. I like to my, to have mine the way it is. I'm not gonna mess with it, you know. And then. You can actually make a custom code for the banner. And in fact, if I enable the banner, what does it do? I don't know, but that's something you could do right now. I'm just not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna leave it things like this. So this is the starter guide of what you have to do with your cluster. And then obviously you wanna come to the drop down menu again and click on health. Just resolve anything that you can find out, anything that's critical. In here, we have our NCC check going on. We could actually, you know, go ahead and run a check again. Why not? And we can run it for all the only failed and warnings. 
and uh, we could do that and we can run it it's only six of them so it should be able to start checking those right away and once it's done doing that we will see if there's uh, any significant errors with that but usually this is pretty quick so we just have to let that happen and then what else what else what else so right now we, ultimately what we want to do is we want to make sure this cluster service is set to good and the hosts are all green green is good red is bad and orange is not good so ultimately we want to fix that so let's see here once this is finished what we're going to get it's 80 percent right now So one thing about the Nutanix nodes cluster is whenever you create something, it synchronizes to all the other nodes. So you don't have to do this in every node. You just do it in one. All of them get the same config. Our NCC check was good. It's finished. It's successful. But did that do anything? Let's refresh. Still didn't do anything. So and still we got that issue with the password. I'm going to have to fix this another time. But for now we need to go ahead and actually go back home and we're going to do this in another video but that's the startup guide for nutanix on what you should do what you should configure essential stuff first and hopefully that made sense for you thank you for watching